Hey, hey Mark, how you been? Bunker. Learn anything about knowledge reports lately? Learn anything about the criminal activities of the Church of Scientology lately? <laughs> if there were any, we'd know. It's funny, it's the, the police department spent $2 million trying to prove that over how many years and not one. Give me a break. So you're discounting uh, Mary Sue Hubbard and the folks who went to prison? 20 years ago, yeah, they made some mistakes. How about the folks up in Canada in 1997 who went to prison for the same mistakes? I don't think I know anything about that. Well, you should check into it. I'm sure it was... First church in Canada to be criminally convicted. It's your church, you should be uh, interested in finding out the facts, don't you think? You want the facts on the gentleman you work for? There you go. I hope you guys are prepared to go to jail for libel. You, oh, you, you know, I would love that if you guys would sue us for libel, because everything in there is, st that's all true. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, not one person that we've ever said anything about has ever taken us, including this guy and anybody from LMT, Stacy. <clears throat> you know, your, your dope-smoking buddies over there at the LMT, you know, we, we they smoke pot. They grow pot in their homes. We know it. We say it. We say all kinds of things. But you know what? We say the truth. And nobody's ever taken us to court for libel. Why is that? because we speak the truth, woman. And there you have it. I am a woman, but you're not telling the truth. Well, That's about where the truth right. ends, huh? Dang, I forgot that number. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, better call well, OSA. Yeah. Oh, it's not, it's not OSA. It's, it's just a funny little... That's the power of OT for you. It's yeah. kind of funny that you showed up here, Mark. So yeah. did you read that knowledge report, Paul? Uh, isn't it funny that you showed up here? It's actually natural that I'd show up here, stopping people like you. You're not stopping anything. What do you stop? What do you think you're stopping? I think it'll happen. What do you think you're stopping? What do you think you're accomplishing here? Are you at cause over something? What do you think you're accomplishing? <laughs> We're working. Looks like you're not working. No, I have people to work for me. I don't have to. Oh, that's nice. So, is this why you got into Scientology? Stand around in the heat and the sidewalk? I'm enjoying myself. Good. They just want to interrupt people from working. That's all they're doing. They think they're they're doing something really special, hanging around on the sidewalk. So you give us a lot of attention for doing nothing. We don't like Scientologists. Oh, really? That's nice. We don't like. So you're, you are religious bigots then? You, that's not a religion. I'm sorry. The Supreme Court of the United States says it no. is. Yes. They said the your tax IRS is. They said your tax exempt. No, the exempt. IRS said your tax exempt. You are. The you Supreme are not. Court of the United States oh, does validate Scientology as a valid religion in the United States. Of I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. You guys don't worship anything but money. Money and harassment, DA packs. You know, you that's the, your you god. Know the, you know the game and business. The best, the best offense, the best defense is good offense, right? You well, have. you know, if a so-called church doesn't play offense and defense, I'm sure they do. No, they don't. Sure, every one of them does. No. Vatican on down, woman. You know what? Don't call me woman. That's really rude. What's your name? I'll let you know if I want to tell you my name. I actually already know it. So I just can't remember right now. Oh, it wasn't good. significant enough to remember. Well, More of those great. OT abilities. Yeah, that's that's what you pay the big bucks for, isn't it? Well, this is quite a dossier they've put together here. I wanted to let you know when Mr. Bunker showed up. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, listen, listen to Cameron and listen, the woman, I forgot her name. Uh, you know. Mark Bunker yeah. is, is fighting for truth. He goes yeah. wherever Scientology goes. Yeah, no, I understand. Wonderful. It's kind of humorous. I thought it was quite funny. I thought I'd call and tell you. Yep. Yep. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well. No. No. Ineffectual. Yep. Look All right, buddy. Handing out to people. What is this? That's your criminal trespass. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Event one one eight seven seven one. Now they are such a church that they spend their time accumulating all this information. You have to when you have enemies. You know what? Hmm. If you would just look, no, it's not the truth. if you would just look, you'd find out that we're not enemies. If you would just look.
You're told stuff. No, I've seen stuff for the 27 years I've been a card carrying e meter tote of Scientology. And, well, uh, you know, it started a lot of lies back in the early 50s, propagated by Interpol and other people that went to the IRS and various things. And, were you there for that? For the Interpol stuff? Oh, I've seen the... Yeah, I was actually part of it toward the end when they started uh, doing some of the... So the, you were there when the Guardian's office infiltrated the FBI and the IRS then? I was actually not in San Antonio. But you were there when the Interpol was doing this? Toward the end of the thing, when they were actually getting the Nazis out of the Interpol and they got them kicked out, yeah. You thought they were and Nazis I was there. Interpol? They were, proven. And the Interpol acknowledged it. Interpol apologized for all the misinformation and they went to the work to actually go back through and disseminate correct information about Scientology. Which is one reason why the IRS allowed us. Well, let me ask you something. I, I really do have this question and I've always wondered about this. Since we're on a break, I guess I can talk. Um, you guys follow L. Ron Hubbard. He's your source, correct? He's the source of the data. He's the source of the data. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're following this guy, and like, if you have marital problems, you go for your 2D co-audit, right? You go for your all your technical stuff of, for the concerning 2D relationships. Do you think he was a proper authority on on the 2D relationships? I'm sure he had some rough times. Everybody does on the second day. I know you're having your times. And your I'm not having any times. Your boyfriend or whatever. Maybe. I'm not. Have, I'm having the time of my life. I work. I love my life. So I'm not having any problems. I'm sure you did have though, because everybody has on the second day. It's kind of a crazy dynamic, isn't it? Well, everybody does, but my question to you is, sure is, my question to you is, everybody has 2D problems, but my question to you is, are you aware that he was a bigamist? Um, I'm not necessarily sure that's true. I know Marx tried to lay that on me, and it may be true. You know, well, maybe he had some if problems. I showed you documents that were taken from, through the Freedom from Information Act, would you believe what, that they were true? That he was married at, at one time and wasn't divorced till some time later? You know, maybe he did do something like that. So freaking what? Well, see, we I have all, a problem. We all make mistakes. Okay, everybody makes mistakes. make mistakes. Let me, let me ask I you make this. Mistakes. What do you think about the time that he threw the kid in the chain locker? Not sure I'm buying it. You know? Don't you, don't, it. You, don't, you don't believe don't that it. he would do that to a kid. How about all the children that he fathered and he, he just denounced and disconnected oh, you make from? make it sound like it's 30 or 40. No, no, but considering that he, he had children that he didn't even acknowledge, do you think that's a good example? I'm asking because I'm really yeah. seriously interested in how somebody wouldn't question a guy giving advice that well, couldn't what, take his own advice. I'll tell you what. That was maybe early on in his life, and he had a lot of research to do, and he had to come up with a lot of things. And he did. Basically, when he got straightened out, maybe he had some things to straighten out. I don't know. He was human. He wasn't a god or anything. He still isn't. Do he you, made some mistakes, maybe. Maybe he did some of those things. I don't know. But I do know that when you take his technology and you apply it standardly, it does work. I have done many co studio co on people. I have you know, helped, I can think of, six off the top of my head where the marriages were ready to just go, bam. And I put them back together, and they're still together. Maybe if that's a credit to you as a person and your own abilities. Mm -hmm. I don't think Technology it's across the board here. because there's far too many divorces in Scientology. Well, you have the statistics on that, huh? Uh, no, I don't, but I, just from the <laughs> number of Scientologists that I know, they're not too happy with how their, sci their, their 2D co-audits you know, went. I've been a Scientologist 27 so I think my second marriage, and I did get divorced once as a Scientologist. That's normal. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I think it's probably more of a credit to you and your abilities to communicate with people than the tech. Maybe you have a better line to people. Um, you know, and usually the co-audit thing isn't necessarily to put them back together always. Either. It's to help them split up amicably if they don't align as, as a 2D, well, what do you which sometimes happens. Well, says let itself. me ask you this. What do you think about the fact that when um, they tell you to disconnect from somebody who is, is, not, doesn't, is not interested in Scientology? That's false data. No ethics officer within Scientology would tell you to disconnect from anyone unless you yourself wanted to. No one would make they tell you, you do that. Well, they, uh, let me there tell you. Is a policy. Here's the loophole. Here's no, the loophole. No, they no, say right if ahead. you want to go further up the bridge, you're going to otherwise you're going to be PTS to this SP. Well, and if somebody's PTS and, to an SP, they can't go further up well, the bridge. Well, but if it's your family, I'm sorry, but that's the way family is. I have never, and I've been in Scientology 27 years. I've been on all the lines. I've been on staff. Never seen a forced separation of a family they, in the entire time, except in Germany when the Germans forced through their little religious things, you know, families apart, 
different things by you've never you have never, never seen never seen that force ever them tell somebody to get a never. divorce from somebody no would you would you believe me if I told you that David Miscavige asked his own mother and father to get divorced he might have I don't believe he asked he, de- he told he, them. yeah you told him he told them that they had to get a divorce that was a, that was, he was a demand he was pro, pro dad and against mom or what he his dad had just been uh, he had just uh, and uh, accidents, mistakes happen. He had just raped a woman in Philadelphia. His father. No, that's not an accident. <laughs> that's well, okay. Criminal activity. Well, he sent his father off into the Sea Org. He didn't send his father away. He sent him off into the Sea Org. Hopefully into the RPF. That would have maybe handled him. Well, if you if you it's think that anyway. that handles it, how about how true, about yeah, the guy? Uh, what's his name? Strawn. Strawn. What was his name? The guy who was molesting his children, the Scientologist, and they kept telling the wife to keep it quiet and that they would handle it, and he wasn't handled. He continued molesting the children. It sounds like a big mistake if it really happened. But then what about the Protestant who killed a psychiatrist? No, no, or, but I'm just talking about, about all those the tech isn't perfect. The People tech come into perfect. Scientology at a level. You know, uh, Patty? They come into Scientology I've never at a level. called Patty. Well, whatever. Patricia. Is that better? Yeah, I'm Patricia. They come into a Scientology at a level. Now, maybe this gentleman, if this did happen... Maybe he was new to Scientology. Maybe he hadn't gotten a lot of help or relief from the anxiety. He's been in for about 15 years. I seriously doubt it. And they told her not to call the police, that they would handle it. He continued molesting their children. And now that you can look at the police records on that. You just go to the police. It's in, it was in Clearwater, wasn't it? It was in Clearwater. Whatever happened, go to the Clearwater TV. Big but you got to understand happened. that there's you can't say across the board that this stuff works. First, you got to acknowledge that. It does that. if it's applied correctly. Well, except and it for does the, if the person okay. isn't so deranged to begin with then let me ask that you they this. can't be gotten to, let me ask which you doesn't this. happen. With stats being so incredibly important. They're not. They're extremely important to the auditors. They have to run, they have to run through auditing pretty, pretty heavily. They're stressed. You have a misunderstanding. No, I saw yes, them. They are stressed. They are sweating bullets trying to get through all the auditing that the they have admin, to do. The, the policy that you're actually trying to operate off of there is called the admin scale. And stats is kind of very low on that. Goals and purposes, goals, purposes, projects, plans, those are more important statistics. Statistics are used only to monitor a person's production. And it's used, IBM actually has sent employees to well, the what, Hubbard College to learn the technology But what happens to these staff people that are not making their stats? They're suffering. No, I was on staff for 10 years. I didn't suffer. I didn't suffer. You know, I had some hard times. I actually went through a court of ethics, but then I was out of ethics. I had some shit going on that shouldn't have been going on. So I got my ethics, you know, handled. Do you not believe that you can generate your own level of ethics? Yeah, Absolutely yeah. you can. That's what the whole thing about so ethics is. It's a personal this, thing. why do you need somebody to handle your ethics If you're in a you? group. Yeah. If you're in a group and you're associated with a group and that group is working toward a common goal and purpose, that group's ethics level is set by the ethics of the person with the lowest ethics level in that group. That's not necessarily true. Potentially just right in there. No, that's not necessarily true. true. Let me tell you, in a work environment, you say you have a business, Mm -hmm. in a work environment, you can have one person that stands out like a sore thumb that he's not, and you get rid of him, and, and everybody is fine. Sure. So in Scientology, we don't get rid of people. We help them. Well, you we, do get rid of people. We help. No, not really. You Part do. the RPF. Well. And we help them actually come out of it. My sister went through the RPF. I have an excellent friend in Seattle who was in the Sea Org for 23 years. Went through the RPF. I tell you I, what. Aren't you with the LMT now? Yes, I am. That's what I thought. He works for the trust. You work for the trust. Yeah. yeah. He's a I thought this thing had nothing to do with the trust. It doesn't. But I invited him over because we had Scientologists here. So why are you here today? We are members of the Foundation for Religious Tolerance. And what does that have to do with uh, being here today? We feel that this particular film that's being made is being made from a viewpoint of religious bigotry. We get that concept from various data, but mostly the main concept would be that uh, Bob Minton is funding it. And Bob Minton, well, we all kind of have our opinion of Bob. So, there you have it.